Yeah. Look, it was said um, online by a certain gentleman who's uh, apparently done a lot of Aikido that, you know, he made, um, I wouldn't say made fun of, but he uh, derided some techniques of a friend, you know, based on um, the fact that, uh, well, let's define some terms. Inside being inside fighting, like inside someone's arms, outside being on the outside. So think of um, tying a hanker as an outside technique. Uh, think of koshinage as an inside technique. Um, this person asserted that this technique wasn't right because um, in self-defense you need to be on the outside all of the time and that that's the most safe thing. And that if you're on the inside, on the inside line, that you're open to being kicked in the balls. Well, I just want to say, and I did say, that this is categorically incorrect. It's called close combat for a reason. And um, first example I've used, if I can borrow Johnny. Like, Johnny is obviously a lot bigger than me. He puts his hand on my forehead. I can't reach him. I have to kick him to, to reach him, but if he kicks me, right, I have to, I'll have to be back here. I'm in range now, but I'll, I'd have to move in to be able to hit him. There's no circumstance where this is going to be the most advantageous for me. Even if my footwork is much better, we just move around a bit, right? I have to take two steps to his one. I'm going to wear out much faster. And if I go to hit him, he steps back and he hits me. I'm out of range, he's in range. Right? If I've got a knife, right? If I've got a knife, how, you know, is it going to be better for him to be out there? He's on the end of my point. Like, what's he going to do? This is not great for him. It's going to be much better for him to be inside here, even if he doesn't have the knife. Because as I go to cut him, right, or I go to stab him, right, he can control it, hopefully. So just like a few examples, like if, if I try to do range on Johnny, like Johnny moves around, tries to touch me, you know, I can, right? I can. But look how much I have to move. Right? But if I'm if he goes to hit me and I'm in here, like this is where my height serves me best. I can come behind, throw him, right, I can strike him. And this other thing that they were talking about, if I'm close, he can kick me in the balls. Sure he can, but guess what? I can kick him in the balls. And it gets back to this question of the martial arts, what if he does this and I can do the blah, blah, blah. It's like everybody can hit everybody. Everybody can hurt everybody. That's why it's a fight. You know, it's not like there's some technique that I can have where I just do stuff to him and nothing happens to me. That's the movies. You know, um, Sure, he can kick me in the balls, but I can kick him in the balls. And, uh, you know, that's not really a relevant argument. And kicking people in the balls is not the be-all and end-all technique. Otherwise, nobody would ever get raped or bit, beaten up. The idea that you can fight a trained fighter and just kick him in the balls and it's all over, it's just not true, <laughs> you know. And... Um, so that, in essence, is my conclusion, is that, let's make it more obvious, he's on the outside now. How's he going to get in this? He might, it's not going to be easy. Right? Is it going to be better for him there or here? Right? So even if I have a cut, like, he can get some control over my weapon. He can hit me. 
Sure, I can kick him in the balls, but he didn't kick me in the balls. You know? So, in conclusion, that's wrong. You should be able, you should be competent on the outside for self-defence, but self-defence happens close in. It's very rare that a self-defence situation is going to occur at range. It's going to be I'm walking down the street and he says blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. Right? And then it's going to start. I'm not going to be back here. It's probably going to be closer. He'll say, you know, he'll come up to him with some pretext and then do a little Or maybe he just pushes me. You know, it's not going to be I'm scooting around. And the other thing is that doesn't take into account environment. You know, the, where it's going to start, he might push me, there are chairs everywhere. Now it's started. I can't get to range. How would I do that? But I can. You know, I can take control on the inside. And the other last thing is, we wouldn't have all these beautiful inside techniques on Aikido, in Aikido, if it didn't work. Which would be, you know, here, a bit over here, like, you know, Koshinage. Or, you know, uh, Tenshinage. Ah. If uh, we wanted to be on the outside all the time. Thank you. Okay.